Alright guys, we have this MacBook Pro, 15 inch. Uh, I don't think you guys can give a big guess what's the problem with this laptop, right? Yeah, as you guys know, it's common on this laptop, on this model, we have graphic card problems. So let me put this machine on. Let's see what the machine is doing. If you're going to come on, of course. There you go. Come on, have it all day long. You know why I don't have it all day long? Because this guy wants this machine ASAP. So, you know, it's a kind of repair that I like to do and you put on test. As you can see the call of the app over there. You see the lines, the lines on the app as well. Yeah. This is a graph card repair. Going to into the system then, you're going to get the blank screen. You will not be able to boot in your system. So, I already opened this machine. I uh, took the screws out and shut down. Put inside. All right. I have a look here. You got some dust on the on the fan, but it's so worse than that. That's looking even okay. All right. We got SSD hard drive. As always, it's very dirty for inside. This is making it always come like that. So we're gonna take it apart. Then we're gonna check what's the problem with the graphic card. Apparent. Apparent. Look like nobody done a refund machine before. Go back. You said the system was so let's open five. this up. Let's pay for the best. See what we can do about it. Alright guys, I'll remove the motherboard out. As you guys can see over there, the heat sink. The heat sink on this machine gets so hot that it's able to melt. You see that? The marks over there? Able to melt the plastic in the heat sink. Look like never, no, but never done a refund machine. That's good news. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna take the heat sink out. We're gonna take the pads, of course, around the GPU. We're gonna clean. We're gonna brush the air compressor to take every, every single dust out of the GPU. We're gonna remove the glue on this side of the mem. We're gonna put some flux as well underneath. Of course, clean first before I do it. And then we're gonna have a look how the machine is gonna do. There is no serial number here, I don't know why. Usually we have a serial number over there. There is no serial number, there is that sticks over there on the board. Some kind of serial numbers. Yeah, thanks a lot camera for this beautiful focus. Anyway guys, as you guys know, Refo is not the solution, we should we should change the ship, put a brand new ship, but I cannot get a brand new ship. I don't want to waste my time to reboil the ship because there's nothing to do with reboil. So let's open, let's see what we can do. Alright guys, check out the board, it's right over there. Oh, I did not put the tin on top of the chip, I forgot. So as you can see, I always put some chip on top of the core. So I'm going to protect the core against the hot for the top heat element. Right now, we have the board here on preheat mode. As you guys know, I do the preheat mod first, let the board get hot before I start the refrowing because I want to avoid any any like uh, bubbles on the board, bubbles on the GPU itself, bubbles on layers, you know. So burn the board. If you see the board very ugly, you usually see the board ugly underneath. Yeah, that's why. So as you guys know, I always clean everything first, very well. Use my fingers to clean anything beneath the ship. Blast with my air compressor to move everything out. So then, <laughs> I apply the flux. I remove the pads very well. Check very well if you remove the pads underneath. You see, between the chip and the board, between the chip and the board, make sure you remove the, the glue as well, you know? Sometimes the glue is still there. Between ship and the board, hold the ship. Let me see if I can start, if I can focus the shoot the camera. That's what it, it is. Oh my god man, I never saw a rubbish camera like this. Anyway, we got to see the flux, right? I hope so. So we're gonna wait for this preheating. It's both gonna get like 120. Let me put the sensor that's in here. That I don't even use because it doesn't work on this machine. But the preheat about 120, 106 is going to be nice, so then you can go for the fast reflow. And then when we see the flux underneath the ship start boiling, that's the time to put the second heat element 
on top of the chip. Look at this camera, guys. You know, I mean, try to focus the camera, and I cannot do it. Uh, there you go. You know, you know what make me like uh, scared, guys. If if somebody walk inside the shop, can you imagine? You do a reflow. You got the machine on preheat mode, as you guys can see over there. The machine is going to get ready to do the reflow. Then somebody walk in the shop. Oh my God. Anyway, let's wait a little bit. I'm gonna put the little thing on on top of the ship as I do always. I'm gonna wait for the the flux and if the ship started boiling. So then we can put the other heat element on top. The ship can get to like maximum 220, 215 Celsius. So don't try to go over it. As you guys know, my machine is broken, doesn't work proper. And you know, I have to use experience, my experience, to do the reflow. When we do the reflow, we melt the bowels underneath the chip. That's why we don't need to do reflow on this laptop for the simple reason. No reflow, sorry, reboot on this laptop for the simple reason. This laptop did not has you did not had liquid damage if if you had liquid damage that went underneath the ship i'm pretty sure i would remove the ship and i would do the reboring because the, uh, the balls underneath the ship would be corroded that's not the case so a reboring will not solve the problem we probably have a ship problem that is not or this loose connection underneath the ship dirt underneath the ship or the ship itself plumbing inside the core then we hit very hard the components inside the core expanding and they go back again and then after like one month they go bad again or maybe one week anyway that's a gamble the right thing to do is get the ship over there out and you put a brand new one but i don't know what where i can get a brand new one if you know please tell me because i want to buy a brand new chip with no balls in with gold pads underneath that you can make sure it's a brand new ship and look at that guys walk in and let me do the reflow wow it's still preheating let's see what the guy wants well what can I do I have to down the shutters as you can see over there the shutters down so now I can do the reflow because if somebody walk away and be doing the reflow I will not be able to answer so right now we have this one in night seven cells probably like it's 120 because this machine don't give the proper re reading now we're gonna go to the first reflow and now the thing is going to get hot as you can see over there the ship over there there's no sign of boiling with the flux underneath I put the tin on top this for fun so we can see melting so let's wait it's gonna take like about one minute half two minutes for the thing start boiling look at this guys 254 165 262 76 155 <laughs> oh my god how can you work with things like that guys how can you work with things like that anyway let's check out the ship over there I can see on the other side it started boiling. I don't know if you guys can see over there. You see it boiling? But one of the old sides started boiling. Very soon the front side is going to be started boiling as well. <coughs> Let me zoom this camera there. Okay, see, 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 see. Now we got the boiling stage. When we get this boiling stage, you wait for, I'm going to wait for about like 20 seconds. So they're gonna put the other heat element on top. And I think I'm gonna do that now. Let me have a look. I'll get my tweezers ready. So I can move, try to move the ship a little bit. See if the ship is losing. Okay, see over there guys, it's boiling. See? The flux underneath. It's like, that's the way I feel. Ah! Work with, with things like that. All right, let's put the top head element now. Now it's gonna get hot. You're gonna see that thing melt as well. And they hold the camera, they focus the camera for you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so nice. You see? Now I have the, the, the top heat element on top. And then we can see way better. 
You put the camera as best I can for you guys so you guys can see it. That's nice. Kind of hard, guys, hold the mobile camera and the pop at the same time. As you guys can see, the team it should not melt. I don't know if you waste my time go over there, move the chip because I know the chip is not ready to be moved. I have to type it gently now, very gently in the ship. You see the team melting? You see the team melting? Guys on top of the ship? As guys remember, put the, the core, the ship on top of the core, so protect the core for the high temper that's getting on top now. So now we're going to move it gently. Yeah, you see it? You see it? Ship is moving. Now I'm going to cool down. And I'm gonna wait. As you guys can see, when I move the ship, that means the all balls underneath is melted. So there we go. So if it was a loose connection between the chip and the board, the GPU and the board now is all back together, solid proper as well. The members underneath, of course, it's pretty hot, I guess. <laughs> all right, we're gonna let it cool off a little bit. And then I'm going to take this board out, of course, I'm going to wait to put out nicely so I can get my air compressor underneath the ship, brass somewhere, so I can take the, the flux out. And then I'm going to clean, air compressor again, take the flux, clean, air compressor, and use the thinness, because the thinness is the best one to take flux. So that's where it's cool down. By the way, now I can open the door. <laughs> That's completely unacceptable, guys. All right, the door is open. And the boat is over there on the cool down. Let me see the sound how it like. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Let me see the temper. It's saying 147. It's bad if to see the the display on the machine because somebody dropped something on the display so it's kind of hard even for me to see it yeah let's wait to cool down then we remove the board carefully clean and then we want to see what's going to happen I hope it works because this cost is going to fly you need the machine now yeah right i believe that all right guys remove the board out let me take my car see that was on top protecting the core this helps you should always do that as well just to protect the core so let's check underneath as you guys know put some flux underneath as well on the memories as you guys can see there is no burn mark that's just flux okay but see no burn marks on the board now of course i'm going to clean and take this excess flux and then i'm going to put finish and they're going to clean up nicely all right guys now i apply finish as you guys can see, I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna start cleaning that. And, the, oh my god, and we're gonna remove the flux. Wow, fin is good because it's clean nice and they make anyone get high for free. Just <laughs> kidding, guys. But yeah, <coughs> if, you, if you keep breathing this thing, this thing make you high anyway. Alright, guys, there you go. We got the board now nicely clean, no flux on the board. It's looking good. On the other side as well, it's looking nice. As you guys can see, let me try to focus the camera. There is no burn marks as well. Beautiful, see over there. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna. Alright, guys, the board is back in. You guys can see everything clean. Oh my god, there's a fingerprint in my hair. No way. Right? <coughs> looking beautiful. No flux, as you can see over there, shiny, no burn marks. I'm gonna put everything back together now. I'm gonna clean the sink a little bit better. Let's clean anyway. Hey, let's see what the machine is gonna do. Hope it works. All right, guys, <coughs> the machine is back together. <laughs> Should I put the glue here, guys? <laughs> that I took from the, the memory. Just kidding, guys. Anyway, guys. Um, put the fun, check if everything is fun. Always check if this thing is very well put back in, guys. Yeah, back together nicely. 
So we're gonna do a test. Why I put the old screws and everything back together without testing? I tell you why, guys. If after the refill, I don't over there. That you guys can call it now. <coughs> Whatever I wanna call. After the refill that did over there, if this machine does not work, you must replace the GPU underneath there. So let's hope for the best. I put the pipe back in. Let me check again if every single screw is put back on this machine. Because I love it. As you guys can see, I clean the fans. So let me see if everything looks fine. All the screws back in. Let's put this machine on, guys. I think the guy's kind of DJ, I guess. You see the, the funny thing on the keyboards? I don't know if the guy's DJ. <laughs> I believe he is. Anyway, let's put the machine on. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put it on two times be because uh, you see, I have to put it on again. When you take the battery, this machine is crazy. Now let's have a look. Now the machine will come on. Come on, there we go. We just can see the apple. If you see the lens of the apple, you see the apple now, guys. There is no line on the apple. You see? The lens you see right now is my camera. But I'm talking about the, the lens that was on the apple before. Now you can see the apple is very gray, you know? The color of the apple. Well, let's see if we're gonna switch the screens, switch between graphic cards. There we go, guys. Yeah, another repair done. Let me see if we can go in, in guest. Yeah, I can go in the guest. Nice one. Nice because I wanna do some tests now. First of all, let me check the serial number of this machine in the back cover. About Mac. So you're gonna be DRJC. Let me check the back cover of this machine. Yeah, the same thing. Match exactly the same thing. Yep. So the board is exactly the same board. As you guys can see over there, we are using Intel HD graphic cards. But we're gonna make this thing change for us for the AMD graphic card. How to do that? You should go over there on the battery. Open and just save, and then I go in here, automatic graphic switching, and then uncheck. Oh, I don't know why I cannot check. I think I can uncheck. I don't know why. Ah, I think because I'm a guest and I have the administrator power to do that. Anyway, when you check that, and then you open about Mac again, you see the ATI graphic card. But as you guys can see, ah, look at that, look at that, did it, did it. Look guys, MD radio, you see over there? Nice, let me put it back again. Funny because I was not able to do it. Look at that, see? Crazy. Ah, look at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway guys, but funny thing the machine did that for me itself. Thanks for testing the TD. Of course this machine would be nice if I could, if I could put this machine like a, 10 hours on video to test the stress to see if everything works fine but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work fine I've been doing this in so much machines and they never come back I want to come back like after 6 months and then machine was fully dirt, fully covered with dirt they spoke with the cost, told the cost to take care for anyway guys, another repair done let me check how much memory this machine has again I think 16 giga, guys. Yes, it's 16 giga. That's the maximum upgrade machine you can get. How about the storage? One terabyte hard drive SSD. Yep, everything's cool, guys. We're gonna shut down this machine. We're gonna call the customer. We're gonna take the money for the customer. And there's another repair done. Was fast because I've been doing this thing every single time. This machine gives so much problem graphic card, guys. What a bad design. What a bad design. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have a nice one, guys.